Hi, I'm Jeff Pulliam, and you're watching Video Blast number 13. Today we're going to be talking about network diagramming. And what I want to do is I want to translate what we've been working on in the work breakdown structure and be able to develop and transition over to the network diagram. And tonight, as our focus is on sequencing, what I want us to be able to do is look at the logic of the work that has to be done and to develop what we call this network diagram. So when we sequence, the first thing we want to, to look at is the work package. And the work package, of course, as you know, is, is developed and supported by the activities which, when put together and acted upon, they will, in combination, create that particular work package. Now, for tonight, what I'm going to be sharing with you is a Child's Playhouse project. And as you can see behind me, how I have broken down this particular project is that we identify a location, we de develop a design and a set of plans, we have a summary task where we actually execute and construct the playhouse, and then we have a final summary task where we close out the playhouse and get the uh, satisfaction and acceptance of the child who will be playing in the playhouse. For this evening, I'm focusing on the execution of the project of this particular work breakdown structure, which I'm calling construction of the playhouse. And it's got three work packages, which is acquire lumber, frame the house, finish exterior and interior. And notice how in the work packages, I've got an action. So I've got an action of, of acquire lumber. I've got an action of framing. When we build an, a, a, a house, we frame the house. Carpenters go and do the act of framing. When we finish, Finish exterior interior is in the line of laying carpet, painting walls, installing doors, windows. So that essentially is what I'm doing in breaking down the construction summary task of this particular project is establishing the work packages and then the activities that support those work packages. Now, the question is, where does sequ sequencing play? Well, I want us to understand that you need to be cognizant and recognize the fact that whatever tier that you develop your network and your sequencing, you must be consistent. So if you develop a sequence using your work packages, then you've got, in this particular case with this summary task, three items that you need to sequence. And in this particular case, the common logic is that you would need to acquire the lumber first before you could actually have the carpenters frame and build the house. And once they have framed and built the house, then you're able to go onto the exterior and interior of your product, of your playhouse, and then be able to finish it. That is, to lay the carpet, to paint the walls, and to install those doors and those windows. And in fact, if you look at each of the activities that support these work packages, that's precisely what is shown here in the work breakdown structure. Now, again, as I mentioned earlier, recognizing the fact that if you choose the third tier, which is your activity tier, where you've got the activities that support those work packages, we must be consistent on the logic. So, yes, indeed, you can go from the work package and you can actually go down to the third tier of your activities and be able then to sequence these in the correct order of the work that needs to be done in order to accomplish these work packages. So again, if you look at the breakdown of each of the work packages and those activities, you can list and sequence your activities in a, in a manner that is logical and that will then support and build those work packages that they are a part of and that, that in combination that they create. So that is what I wanted to share with you tonight. And as you look at the work breakdown structure of a playhouse, the two things I want you to remember and to remind yourself is that when you decide to develop that sequence and the logic of the work is how it's to be performed, make sure that you're consistent with the tiers. So if you're going to do it from the work package level, then you stick with the work package level and make sure you develop your logical sequence that way. If you drop down and do the activity level, make sure that you develop your sequence based on the activity level. Now, mind you, I understand you'll have more activities and therefore a larger sequence and or network diagram showing the logic of those activities. But that's okay. That's just going to be dialing it down and getting more decomposition of those supporting activities and how they interrelate with each other. The thing to remember is that 
each of these activities support that work package. So when you break them down, make sure that the sequence of your activities is consistent with the sequence of the work packages as you've identified them. That's Bibblecast number 13. I hope you enjoyed it. We will continue the discussion on the Playhouse at uh, the next Bibblecast.